David, congratulations on a great ESMO meeting. Everybody's uh, you know, buzzing about it. Right. 15,000 people, they say. It was really quite extraordinary. And um, you know, you, you're well on your way to, to getting your 10,000 new members for ESMO and, and so on. What's your reaction been to the meeting? Fantastic. The best ESMO meeting, no matter how, how you cut it, quality of signs, number of people coming, attendance by patients, the best ESMO meeting ever. It's actually 16,000 people wow. came, more than 500 patients, more than 12,000 docs. Attendance good, quality of signs better. Uh, the presidential symposium in which yeah. there were at last some practice changing large phase 3 trials presented here in Europe, their home, mm -hmm. for the first time. So I think the buzz is real, there's a momentum behind us and I just feel that ESMO's really in a sort of strong ascendancy. Sure. Just and, and nice to see some of the Americans coming with the phase 3 trials. Wasn't it brilliant? Yeah, you yeah. know, some fantastic American discussions, some primary mm -hmm. data and I've got to say I had a delightful meeting with George Sledge, who's the president of ASCO. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been a lot of stuff about trying to drive wedges between European and American medicine. We don't like ASCO. No, we love it. Mm -hmm. And George Sledge is a fantastic chat. We co shared a great symposium on angiogenesis, science interaction, and, and it's good. So, I mean, ESMO is a, a meeting place for the world's, the yeah. global cancer community to come together. So that takes me into you know, post-ESMO uh, post uh, in Milan. And uh, your third uh, declaration of intent, which I wrote up in the ESMO newspaper, was uh, uh, developing countries. Now, the last time you were on eCancer TV was from Tanzania. It was the Pan-Africa Congress, uh, which you Indeed. were very much involved in, and, uh, and we were there uh, filming you and a lot of the other African leaders. What are you going to do? Three important things have emerged from this meeting. Um, one is that George Sledge and I have decided that the next ASCO ESMO Symposium in ASCO in the States will be around cancer in the developing world. I, I think the, the, the more we talk about it, the more we spread the message, the more our, and I mean this, the global village of cancer physicians can get involved. And we believe that American doctors don't know enough about cancer in the developing world. Yeah. It's a big tick against that. This, we had the first meeting of our Chronic Disease Alliance. <clears throat> As you know, all the WHO, UN Millennium Development Goals are around infectious disease. We know that by 2020, there will be more cancer deaths than AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria combined. And next year, um, 2011 in September, the UN is going to have a special health day. And I'm working with the uh, president of the European Society of Cardiology, of Diabetology, of Pulmonology, so that we can get chronic diseases as one of the Millennium Development Goals. And our African colleagues are crying out for this big mm -hmm. take there. Yeah. I think the third thing is that our Developing Countries Task Force and ESMO, what a gang, that the chaired by, um, chaired by Hakan Melsted, a former president of mm -hmm. ESMO, and Adama Sadamiu, quite the most passionate oncologist politician I've ever come across. So we've got XMEP, XMEP, Cypriot, as I recall. Cypriot, um, you know, uh, may at some stage become the health minister of his own country. But, but a fantastic leader and who has political connections everywhere, supported by, I think, some of the best oncologists in the developing world. And they've got some great ideas about awareness raising, minimum treatment guidelines, palliative care. So we, ESMO, have managed to breathe real life into it and empower our colleagues out there. So it's been a great meeting from that point of view, and we'll build on it, that's a promise. Sure. Well, eCancer TV will go with you, because we're already being watched from 203 countries, which is for us one of the reasons we're setting this free uh, site up. And um, we'll, maybe, uh, we'll maybe be sitting in on the back of the ESMO, ASCO meeting on developing country uh, oncology. It makes a difference, Gordon, because if we're embarked upon a journey, and we are. Mm. If we travel together, we travel mm. more safely, more certainly. Yeah. So let's yeah. do that. David, thanks very much and uh, safe home. Thank you, Thank Gordon. You. Thanks very much indeed.